Let's simplify this expression. Here we are squaring a fraction and then divided by. Here, within this set of parentheses, we have addition. So remember, order of operations, we work within grouping symbols, so we'll work within this set of parentheses first. How do we add fractions? To add fractions, we must have the same denominator. What is the least common denominator here? The least common denominator is 6. Now let me go ahead and just rewrite this for the moment. That's negative 3 fourths quantity squared divided by, how do I write 2 thirds as an equivalent fraction but with a denominator of 6? Well, we know 3 times 2 is 6, so I multiply the fraction by 2 over 2 because that's like multiplying by 1. It does not change the value of the fraction. And then I have plus 5, 6. Let's continue. We are working within this set of parentheses. So I have still negative 3 fourths quantity squared divided by. Now I have 2 times 2, which is 4 over 6 plus 5 over 6. And now I can actually add. So this is negative 3 fourths quantity squared divided by 4 plus 5, numerator plus numerator, that's 9 over keep that common denominator. Now we'll go ahead and simplify this fraction, but while we are simplifying this fraction, let's go ahead and perform the squaring of this fraction. This is negative 3 fourths quantity squared, so it's negative 3 fourths times negative 3 fourths. Well, what is a negative times a negative? Now, if you need to look at what's happening, this is negative 3 fourths times negative 3 fourths. That's what's actually happening. Two factors here. Negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 3 is 9. That's how we multiply fractions. Denominator times denominator is 16. So 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. This fraction squared is 9 over 16. If you'd like, simplify this fraction now. If you'd prefer not to, go ahead and multiply. Now remember, how do you divide? You divide by multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is 6 on top and 9 on bottom. And now let's continue. That is numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. Let me work a little here to the right. Before we actually multiply all this, let's look for common factors. Notice I have a common factor of 9. What about 6 and 16? Any common factors there? The answer is yes. There's a common factor of 2. 6 is 2 times 3. 16 is 2 times 8. The 2's divide out, and we have 1 times 3 is 3 over 1 times 8 is 8. Our original expression simplifies to 3 eighths.